Hey yo everyone, welcome back to another Terraria video. Today we are continuing our trend of testing really strong weapons against bosses. And we got our next weapon here from the juice mod, just like the previous weapon was. That is the beautiful tome of greater manipulation. Now the juice mod has two of these tomes, one that you can actually craft in this one, which is a cheat item, which you have to spawn in. Here is the regular one. The regular one allows you to pick up and move friendly NPCs. Right click while holding the NPC to rapidly damage the NPC. Let's go ahead. Let's Let's put this one to the test okay just to show you guys how it is let's put it to the test we're gonna go take the npc right here who's hiding in this house how you doing man i'm pretty sure you didn't win the 2019 npc olympics so i don't know what you're doing in this house so sir I might have to get rid of you. I'm sorry. But yeah, that's the damage that the regular Tome of Manipulation does. Now, you may be wondering, how does it get any better than that? Well, with the Tome of Greater Manipulation, allows you to pick up and move NPCs. Right click while holding the NPCs to rapidly damage the NPC, life regens, and infinite immunity frames while held. Now, the thing that it doesn't tell you is, you can also pick up some items like this. You could also pick up enemy NPCs, which I think the regular Tome might actually allow you to do that. No, look, it doesn't. So yeah, this on the greater one of course is greater and we're gonna put it against some bosses here today and see what bosses it can kill so let us start with of course the king slime all right we got the king slime here i don't know why there's two health bars uh, but let's do it boom got his ass what is he gonna do can he teleport if i'm holding him like this can i toss him around well, you can give a little toss Ooh, nope he ain't touching me so let's go ahead boom and kill kill all the little ones while we're at it too I'll do a little, do a little wrist flicking motion here so I can get both of them. But look at that. The King Slime, of course, the first one to die, the easiest to kill. On to the next. We got our next boss here, the Eye of Cthulhu. Boom. Got him. Oh, look at that. He's still trying to look at me. Oh, God, that's kind of creepy. Look at him. He's turning every now and then. But uh, let's go ahead. We're going to just right click him and get him into the second form. And we're still holding on to him while he's in his second form. Let him go. Wait, can I? Oh, yeah, you can kind of toss some of these bosses. That slime earlier, you know, I couldn't really toss. But, you know, the king slime in the Eye Cthulhu, I could toss around a little bit. But bye-bye, Eye Cthulhu. On to the next boss. Sorry if I sound different throughout this video. I am using a new mic. And what the hell was that? <laughs> I am using a uh, new mic. And I don't have a mixer for my mic. I've never had a mixer, so I can't really control volume easily or change the settings. So hopefully this sounds good. I may sound a little bit more bassy than usual, but I don't think that's a word. Let's go ahead. Let's test out our next boss here. The Eater of Worlds. Now, this one might be pretty interesting. Can I just grab him? Oh, my God. And then, look, I can mess with his body. Hey, hey, hey. You guys ever do this with, like, a jump rope or something? Look at this. I'm going to try and make a dick with it. So you go like that. And then, and then you go like this. Okay. And they go like that. Okay, it's a little bit harder than, uh, than I thought it was going to be. But let's go ahead. Let's get a nice like piece of him right here. And then we're just going to right click on a majority of his body as much as we can. Okay, it's a little bit harder killing him. But you can just straight up control him. Look at that. I just ripped a segment off. Okay, I'm not... Give me that. Give me that head. Give me the segment. I'm trying to rip it. Give me that. It won't It won't rip off. But, uh, you know, the Eater of the World Eater Worlds takes a little bit longer to kill. But he is still 100% killable. I think he's trying to run away. Can he even get up here? He can get up here. It's very surprising. Look at that. You see how I like I grab like little segments of him? On to the next boss though. All right. We are underground right now because I don't have like any crimson overworld. But let's do this. I'm assuming we could just grab a creeper and then just start holding right click and see what we can do with that. We're getting down to the last one. Boom. And last but not least, the brain get through. Try and teleport. You ain't going nowhere, bro. You ain't going nowhere at all. Oh, what was that? You saw that? You starting to do his little uh, brain of confusion thing. But yeah, there you go. Bring it through loop. Dead to the next boss. If it isn't the fan favorite Queen Bee, the one that spawns out of nowhere all the time. Come here. You ain't doing none of that today. You know, there's something about being able to just grab a mob out of the air or just grab them and just kill them in an instant. There's some sort of power that you feel while doing it. Let's go ahead. Let's put it to test on the wall of flesh. Now, I'm wondering how this is going to work. Oh my God, look at this. Does that hurt when I do that? <laughs> Let's if I would take your eye. Oh my God, I could just pull his eye off and kill him. God damn. Rest in peace, the wall of flesh. All right, we're going on to our next boss here. Hey, can we stop shooting stuff at me? I'm gonna put that on just so mobs don't spawn. Get out of here. Be yeah, on to our next boss. The, the mech trio, boom. Retinazer, gone. Spasmatism, gone. Skeletron Prime, can I grab his arm? I'm gonna pull your arm all the way over here. 
It's like it's like playing uh, Mario 64. And you get to mess with Mario's face in the beginning. This, this is what this feels like. Bye bye Skeletron. World record. Yes. Got me world record. All right. So let's see what's up with the destroyer. Oh. Just took a segment off of him and killed him with it. God damn. We are out here in the jungle slash temple. Let's do it. Golem up next. The golem always looks weird when you spawn him in with a cheat sheet. His head is over his other head. His second form head is over his first form head. But look at that. Got his first form head. Get that shit out of here. What? Give me that. I'm putting it all the way over here. And look. It just goes right back. Can I just kill his head? Oh. Get your head out of here. <laughs> That's gone. Now I'm just going to take him. All right. Next up. Plantera. I guess we got to go out here because I don't know how Plantera behaves if we're in there. But let's do it. Boom. Now, I'm wondering. Can I grab the hooks? I can grab the hooks. You see that? Oh, I got all three of your hooks. Now I can drag you around like you're my pet. Come on. It's like, come on, Plantera. Let's go outside. All right, let's 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 get rid of her, though. Let's let's see if I get her to, like, half health to her second form. Okay. And then I could kind of just, like, drag her around. This is <laughs> this is an amazing item. This is probably one of my favorite items so far to kill things with. It's just, I'm, I'm so powerful. I'm literally a terrarian god. We are here at the... This ocean isn't PP colored anymore. What? Did they change the color? What the heck? I don't like that. I liked it when it was PP colored. But yeah, we're here to fight Duke, the one and only fish slash pig. What is he again? I don't know. But let's get him. And this dude has like three forms. So let's let's see if I, if I can show all of them off with this. Next form. Okay, this is next form. And he's got one more form. Oh, this might kill him. Oh, that killed him. He's got like that last form where he's like invisible the whole time but there you go this duke you know i guess real quick since i'm here show some bosses off that I never really show off the martian saucer what the heck <laughs> can i grab that part then like the part the core and stuff it doesn't seem like i can't but uh you know let's just i can't i can't right click him if i can't grab the core and stuff <laughs> so we got our oh wait oh there we go just gotta grab him very carefully and yeah, you can take him out this is very hard to do what the heck oh oh okay oh i could just grab him and then i could just put my mouse over the other body parts oh my god i thought he was safe i thought the martian saucer was safe but it just took a little finagling you know since we did him i guess might as well do morning wood okay apparently they're not considered bosses might as well do all the other event bosses here i'm gonna see if i can spawn them in grab them and kill them real quick okay no we gotta put it put it to the test against the uh sand tank see you later of course the ever scream the other tree boss of course the pump king himself bye bye see you later and last but not least i think uh, if i didn't miss one the ice queen she's doing spins she can spin her way to hell all right next up the lunatic cultist now this is gonna cause havoc and bring all the pillars to my world but it's fine it's fine i'm, I'm fine with that you know can i move the mysterious tablet yo i'm about to have y'all worshiping nothing in a second hold up oh look they look where it's at to worship it. What the heck? That's crazy. I never knew that. I could, I could go like this, low key. Put the tablet out of the view and then it look like they're worshiping me. But yeah, let's go ahead. Let's get rid of these boys. What the hell? It's moving on its own. That's not me. I'm not touching it. Stay down here. I need you to stay there. All right, let's get all these dudes. Get rid of them. And of course, the cultists will spawn. I'm gonna just grab you. Yeah, what you about to do? What you about to do? <laughs> you ain't getting none of that, none of that tablet power. See you later. So, I don't think I have the mod installed that uh, allows me to just kill the pillars uh, straight up because they have a shield. I usually have a mod that disables the shield but gives the pillars a lot more health. Um, so, let's see what we can do. We can still move the pillar. We just can't kill it. So, I need to install the mod that allows me to do that again. But look at this. If you wanted to ever move the pillar, obviously, you'd have to cheat to do it. But, you know, if you just want to move a pillar away from your house so you can live there normally without a pillar attacking, there you go. All right. We got the mod installed at pillar. I'm very sorry for this bye bye that was nice and quick on to the next pillars the beautiful pink nebula pillar bye bye you know what when's if i just take you with me i'm gonna take you with me to the other pillar when's if i kill all three pillars at once let's, let's just do it like that i'm here by the uh, vortex pillar and it's a nice purple color now boom i got both the pillars stacked on top of each other onto the third pillar all right here we are we're by all three pillars you know stack them on top of each other it's still purple it still looks very cool though but let's go ahead and let's kill all of them boom all at the same time get this thing off of my head bro boom bada bing the moon lord is here about damn time i straight up felt like that was five minutes of me waiting for him to spawn look at this i can play with his hands hey 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 <laughs> oh if i go too far his hand just kind of rips off that boy flexing on us though look at him he's waving at us 
Like this. Like, yo, what's up, boys? That boy. Oh, what is that? What move is that? He can flex like that? Damn, Moon Lord. Yeah, let's take his uh, hand, eyes, whatever. Let's break them. What about his head? Oh, shit. I can sure have grabbed his head. Man, forget it. I'll grab one of these eyeballs and toss them across the world. I won't have to worry about them during the boss fight if I throw them all the way over there. Oh, shit. He came back. Let's go ahead, though, and take out his top eye and then grab his core. Damn. Hey, hey. That boy dancing. He getting down with it. What is that? My boy about to hit the whoa out of nowhere. Yeah, okay, let's go ahead. Let's take him out. Bye-bye, Moon Lord. May you rest in peace. Not really. Until your lower half comes out, then you can maybe rest in peace. All right, so for this episode, you know, we're just testing these out on a majority of uh, vanilla bosses, and then we're gonna choose specific modded bosses that I wanna test it out on. But first, you know, we gotta check out the Consolaria bosses, aka, you know, some of the uh, version exclusive bosses. But we got Leapis here. He cl closes his eyes when I grab him. Damn, I do way up there i guess he just closes his eyes when he's in the air i don't know but let's go ahead let's grab both of them give me this egg too you ain't coming alive next up of course we got turquoise the ungrateful so if i kill turquoise head right and don't touch his body he spawns another head and i kill both of these heads and then he spawns one more head he's kind of like a hydra but only stops at three heads i just want to see what i could do with these three heads you know what i'm saying if i could just yoink them all the way over here yeah it doesn't seem he has a problem with it but let's go ahead let's take him out completely pick up the whole plate and eat his ass wait no not like that and last but not least the other console boss Akram. Okram. Akram. let's kill him though it don't matter how you pronounce his name he's dead what about these things oh you can actually kill these things they don't make a noise at all when you kill them though okay there you go that's all the vanilla bosses so because this is a juice mod weapon of course we got to put it against the juice mod bosses starting with the alpha cactus worm he's a worm i just grabbed a piece of him. just a little piece of him i want i want to grab your head where's your head at there we go and now i control him hey 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 let's go ahead let's take him out and of course the second form comes out the grand cactus worm can i do the same thing hey 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 Let's go ahead and take them out too damn that went by quick on to the next boss sax aka that thing from metroid i don't know let's go ahead let's kill this bitch boom form two ew look at that transforming ew nasty let's go ahead let's see the last form it's cool that there's animations now between them shout out to juice for adding those animations in between that's uh, very cool now oh this boss must have got overhauled or something this looks way cooler so let's go ahead let's take out the final form of sax bye bye is that the final form i don't know there's a lot of things flying around on my screen looks like a bunch of gushers next up we got the greatest duo ever okay i don't know about that we got Inkidu and gilgamesh boom see you later Inkidu. and gilgamesh is like hey bro you killed my sidekick that's my luigi to my mario get the fuck out of here get out of here but then he goes into his final form come on try me try me let me see that I don't know what he's talking about. He's talking about ladies that dress like men. There's no problem with that. Gilgamesh being sexist. Get out of here. You piece of shit. <laughs> and last but not least from the juice mod, the Jumbo Cactuar. Who doesn't love this man? I love this man. This is one of my favorite bosses from the mod. But I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to take you out. Oh my god, he's getting mad. It rages as you leave the desert. Are you happy now? Bye-bye, Jumbo Cactuar. All right, so the only boss we're going to be testing from Thorium is the Ragnarok Trio, whatever you want to call them. I don't even remember. What are they called? Reality Breaker? Once you kill all three of them? Something like that. Can I pick up all three of them? I... Ooh, that was loud as hell. But there you go. Boom. Got to kill the bubbles now. Can't forget about the bubbles. Come on now. We kill the bubbles. We get to the final form, right? There's one more bubble. Two more bubbles. Three more. Three more. Nope. Got to kill you again. All right, there we go dying reality not reality breaker dying reality boom get him out of here what did you expect from a weapon so powerful all right so there's a handful of bosses from the calamity mod that i want to test uh we're gonna start with dog i think dog will be a good starter i think we're gonna do dog supreme cal yarn there's another boss on my mind that we'll test out too but uh those, those are the ones that i want to do right now so let me uh figure out how we spawn dog here i should probably spawn him with a spawner all right there we go what is that noise? You making that noise? <laughs> That's what he gets for making that loud ass noise. All right, come on, phase two. Bring it in. He does have a phase two when you kill him like that, right? Okay, boom. You a bigger worm? Well, look at this. A bigger worm or you're still my toy. Get him out of here. Oh my God. World record, baby. All right, next up is Yarn. I should be able to fight him straight up and not have to fight the, uh, what is it? Oh, that's loud. Not have to fight the solar eclipse. Come here. We got to get rid of you. You're too damn loud. 
Now does he fly away? No? What are you doing there? Quit being a bitch. Let me kill you. The air is getting warmer around you? Nah, I don't know about that. I got the AC on. I'm cooling. I'm cooling. He's regening his health. I don't know if this is like the second phase when he regens his health or what. I don't know. I don't really play this mod anymore, so I wouldn't know him. Let me grab him again. Try and kill him again. Maybe he has a, uh, what is it called? A DPS limit? And then if he pass it, he heals? I don't know. Oh, never mind. He still got his ass beat. All right, we got our final boss here from Calamity. Uh, not really final boss. I, I mean, yeah, I guess final boss because the last thing in my test from Calamity is the Eidolon Worm. Because it's just tradition at this point that we fight against the Eidolon Worm. I don't even know why I'm dodging this. I'm invincible. We got the uh, Sepulcher here, which honestly, he might not even die from this. Well, he, he could die, but it's just going to take a while, as you can see. But uh, let's see here. Let's just grab... Wait, no. We can't grab Supreme Cow. We got to kill the, the balls. My bad. The Brimstone Heart, not Supreme Cow's balls. All right, let's see here. Just give me all of this. Bye-bye. And then grab onto her. Oh, she's like, okay, hold up, hold up. We got to go into phase two. Come on now. Phase two. This bitch going to make me play this whole entire thing? Yeah, good luck hitting me. Nice try here. I'm going I'm to play with you while I wait for this phase to be over. Whoa, whoa. Vroom, vroom. Look at this. I don't know how many phases she has. I've only beat Supreme Cow once. That's only because I put in the effort to beat her once. But let's see here. It doesn't seem like she's going to break or anything, you know, when I'm doing this much damage. Because Yarn and, uh, what's his face in but Yarn and Dog didn't break at all. Like, they didn't, well, I guess Yarn did have, like, a DPS cap of some sort. But it wasn't really that strict. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe that's just, that was just his form switching. Oh, shit. The dirty bubble. I can't pick him up, though. It's all good. He's not going to hurt me. Oh, snap. What is this? Whoa. Where'd she go? Did I launch her on accident? Do I got to kill these? Can I just attack her? I think I got to kill these. It's all good. It's not like it's a hard thing to do. I'm just holding down left click and right click. That's literally it. I'm holding both down at once. Oh, this is way easier. I ain't got to move. <laughs> there we go. Come here. Oh, she's so close. I'm just getting started. You're about to die. These Calamity bosses are always talking shit, bro. It's almost like the Calamity developer discord. Bring me that ass. Oh, so close. So close. You gotta kill uh, the balls again. But come here. That's not it. You still got like one little. Wait, is that it? No? That now that's it there we go so that is all the main calamity bosses that i wanted to test that out on and uh you know there's only like one other boss that we're gonna try our luck on and that is one of the blue magic bosses not all of them because that mod gets mad when you don't fight all the bosses it's like hey you can't fight this boss without fighting that boss and i don't feel like doing that honestly we're just gonna see what we can spawn in and see if it lets me kill him that's really all we're gonna do so let me see if i spawn in like this purity probe will that allow me to fight anything no these don't even spawn in oh there we go. Spirit of Purity. Why are you saying, wait, oh, you again? I don't even know who the hell you are. Oh, was it that easy? <laughs> don't tell me it was that easy. That it was that easy. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, you know, might as well try the, the Chaos one. Let's spawn this one, which I think is the last. Oh, yeah, this is the last one with Spirit of Chaos. So let's see. Now look. Oh. He just died. I didn't even get to touch him. He just died. Like, I can't even right click him or anything. I can't even move. No, I am moving. Okay. It didn't feel like I was moving. It, he just dies. I don't know if that counts or not, but who knows? All right. But you already know who we're going to end it off on. Of course, the one and only Eidolon Worm. Come on. There's no way I couldn't not end it on this dude. Boom. There's the Eidolon Worm, the one and only. Damn. I'm over here playing with him like he's a goddamn toy. Yeah, you doing that scary roar? That shit ain't scary no more. Get him out of here. Holy hell, he still got defense. I don't know if I want to sit here for however long I have to sit here for. <laughs> you know what? You win. You win this one. You know, I can still yoink you around like it's... Oh, got your tail. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out the juice mod and all the other mods in the description. Uh, I get a lot of people always asking me. They're like, what's that Toma manipulation from? I don't know if you just read the description for a second. You know, most of the videos say that the Toma manipulation is from the juice mod. But I know it's really hard to like click or scroll down once. It's a tough thing. I, I know, I know. Make sure you guys hit the sub button. Because if we hit 200k subs by the 14th of February, we will be doing Game Raiders Week 5. And for all my Terraria people they know what game raiders week is but for all my other people that aren't Terraria people game raiders week five you know what that means we're gonna be posting every single day for a whole entire week and possibly even streaming on some of those days but yeah thank you guys for watching i love you guys i'll see you i'll see you next time hopefully my mic sounded good this video